uh, hello everyone so uh, this is my second uh, lecture about uh, Shumo traffic simulation software um, actually the last video I, I discussed the basic things how can you install uh, and configure uh, Shumo in your computer system and I, I think if you don't watch this video you should watch it uh, because it, uh, it still have uh, this today's tutorial as well so you know as I think uh, for uh, for do a, this video I actually show how to build a simple network using Shumo so um, before that you need to know some basic about traffic uh, road uh, phenomena or something so uh, in, in this uh, picture you can see that if I say that this this uh, this is a, a a small I'm saying that a, a microscopic uh, road network system right? uh, and uh, you know a road network uh, consists of like root a different routes and north A's those things and you, you can see that right like you said that I, I will go this this origin to this destination means you will maybe you will take uh, several routes maybe several uh, cities so yeah I'm going to say that different routes connect different city country even uh, national and international level so every road section so they, they have they have those elements actually so if I say that the a small portion you see those, those things is actually called node and oh sorry uh, actually the 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 node is the uh, like the circular one and the age a is, is the like you see the connected of connection between two nodes and the root can be the combination of several node and age maybe you say that you heard some road name like this so maybe this road can be a route one you will see in the bus or public transport system map that this bus can go this particular route so yeah those things actually you need to build in shima 2 so this tutorial yeah just start this today's tutorial mm, okay first you need to open uh, your net edit software you can search here net edit to uh, create a basic simple network so I'm saying that a network consists of a nodes or nodes can be expressed as junction in our uh, in, in general people they say is that our engineering term too so you need to create a node and overall a route to uh, make a simulation or yeah also as well as the real option so from the file menu I just open a new worksheet and you, you can see that there left side you have found their information bar and in the top of you found that there have lots of men like others of like file to uh, windows help like this mm, okay so tools edit so uh, network they have some uh, useful uh, tab like network demand and data so they have uh, different purpose different uses so I will show you uh, by a step by a step but today is I will show you how can you create a very simple network road network so the road network uh, the road consists of three nodes and two A's so for creating this you, you need to use this like this you can see in the network under the network tab you found the set create A's mode so you need to click it when you click it you see the pop-up windows on your left side and in your top bar you see that there is another uh, option like other things like A's change mode if you want to continue your age like I'm saying that this this is just finished okay so if you want to continue it so oh the another thing if you want to finish it just click there and okay but if you want to make a continuous road section so this need to 
mark this or tap this age change mode then you can click left click and just left click again and see that this is uh, continue so that means you are uh, creating different nodes A's randomly so if you press escape from your keyboard it will go on maybe it's finished or you can press enter or uh, right click of your mouse that's okay so um, today's I will show you how to create a very simple like this I said that uh, I will create three nodes mm, okay randomly I'm picking it maybe this Mm, so three nodes and you see uh, the two A's so the now we just create the network in net edit so now we, we will uh, edit the junction and you know junction means the node the junction position maybe in real world they have some location particular location so Mm, in, in this video we will uh, use actually particular uh, location mm, you can see that we can use like maybe we can say name location one is like uh, 10 minus 10 50 then node 2 is minus node 2 is 0 uh, 50 or node 3 is 100 comma 50 so you can use this node or you can use by randomly by your own so yeah so yeah i'm just uh make this click this is, is for editing or finding some information see the name of this tool is set in a spec mode so after you click this you just need to click the notes you can see the left side the information there their id their position their type yeah we'll explain we'll use the type in, in the massive project uh, maybe after a few after a few months or a few weeks so yeah i'm changing the, the setting the name is one okay so um, the position maybe i'm saying that we can use some particular position if you have maybe i'm saying that i will use minus 100 comma 50 the node position okay so after clicking this you you see that the node is changed like this okay so mm, this is our will be the node 2 so we mark is at 2 and the position is 0 50 maybe uh, we can say it okay 0 50 just for mm, sorry 0 50 just press enter and you will see is going to be a straight and we'll now edit the last node that's called node 3 but you can make it your own name too mm, okay the position will be 150 uh, just press enter and see uh, this this take this position and if you click the age you see that net age so they have name maybe you can say that age e3 maybe this is your age number one you can say that age one okay from you see that from one to two means that it has started from one and end with this two node number two node so yeah for 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 the second age you see this name is e4 but yeah, we want to say it as e2 because it's our second node and it is started from two and end to three so yeah you see there is speed and priority or something so yeah this is not actually necessary but you know but i will explain it later it's, it's actually about the speed of vehicles that you want to be put there the maximum speed and maybe you can change their length too the age length maybe you can say 50 50 you can make change so okay so we will make it 50 then we can make this not 250 okay so we just finished our network curation and basic editing with the network now we need to input our demand i am saying that this road may be connected for you know in real life in a highway 
uh, maybe one hour, maybe 2,000 vehicles per hour, more than 2,000 hours some road have. It depends on lots of things, but 2,000 to 2,500 vehicles can pass in a highway um, within an hour, a single hour. It should be because it's it, actually it's a demand for like a level of service, which is called LOS. So yeah, there's different types of road has different service. So you need to do some field work before uh, simulate it in Shimo. So now just for learning, we just use uh, demand. Click the demand tab, and under the demand tab, you will you we you will found uh, that we want to create some uh, demand, maybe and put some vehicles there. So create route. First of all, we just create a network, but we shouldn't create a route. I'm saying that this bus can go in your real life, that this covers two areas. Maybe particularly this bus will go area A to B to C. So you need to select or create it in the Shimo. And if in the real world, you will found that there's two vehicles maybe share like route A and route B but they got divided for so one bus can be go route C and one bus can be go route D. So you just need to select this road and uh, set the demand of their particular route. So to create a route mode, you just click this and from this we just, you see this uh, uh, color will be uh, green, like now is green. So just click the left side, you see the color is changing. Then I'm clicking the second part so these two things I just created. So just finish road creation now. I'll just select those things. I'm selecting that these two route. I'll select maybe I, if I have some routes there and there, maybe I can select this or that. So it's, it's totally fine. So finish route creation. Okay, you see that after finishing it, it, it will uh, turn yellow and green. Maybe you see a very yellow line uh, in a straight away uh, indicating our route. So now we need to uh, input, uh, uh, you know, uh, the uh, vehicle. So under the demand tab, you will found the create vehicle mode in uh, uh, in your for your knowledge information. I said that there, the all the vehicles are run in the our uh, real world. You can found in uh, Shima two. So I will discuss it in in future project. So just clicking the. Uh, vehicle mode you see the vehicle tab came here and you see there have lots of vehicles and there are some options there uh, from tree from the junction there are different purpose we need to must care about because it's a basic uh, simulation tutorial so uh, we, we just clicking it and we just click the road network now okay okay again just finish it and you see there is a vehicle now got in so we need to save this actually because we just finish our road creation to input demand we just input in one vehicles maybe real all we will input we'll show you how to input uh, lots of vehicles or different types of vehicles and so on so mm, we need to uh, save it so we just from file we just save it as our mm, okay so save the network so we can say that um, tutorial to this name. So you see the file format is very important because uh, the next lecture, I will use the code formation, how to create those networks using uh, code, Shimo code, using Visual Studio code, it's called VS code. So you need to know the extension like Nate.xml. This is the you know Nate. The software name is Nate Edit. So the extension is for Nate.xml file. It's a kind of XML. Maybe you are familiar with XML file before. So we just save it and don't close the Nate Edit because we will we open the Shimo software from the, the Nate Edit. I'm saying that these two are interconnected software. So from the edit menu, you will found that uh, open, open and uh, Shimo in, open in Shimo GUI. So yeah, after clicking this, it will open in, in Shimo, but you need to set a suitable. Maybe I'm saying that this can be 
lecture 2 as well. So, the Shumo extension is Shumo CFZ. So, yeah, this is the completion. I just say the name and save it, and it will open automatically in Shumo now. So, you see, you cannot uh, edit the road network here because it's, it's only used for just simulation. So, for make it some realistic view, we just change the um, the view, like background, I will say, from the top menu, real world. So, it will now turn to green. And for delay, so there is zero delay. So, if if very small, it's a very small road network. And, you know, traffic scale is one volt. So, and we have one vehicle only. So, if you say zero delay, so you cannot see the vehicle is going on. So you need to select at least 80 delay minimum. I, I think it's optimum. Maybe you can say say it 2100 or something hmm, to see the vehicle. So after that we will praise this run. So simulation you found the run too, and you have those things run there. So just click run and you will see the simulation now. Okay, let's start. You see the vehicle gone and simulation end in 10 seconds time they are showing so do you want to close so if you say yes then it will be uh, closed so if you want to simulate it again you need to open the simulation file again we say that lecture 2 so you say just open it mm, okay just, sorry just you can uh, exit it now the net edit software and you can mm, open it so yeah show more lecture 2 Okay, let it maybe found some problem. Mm. So mm, open simulation. Okay, yeah, it is it's working now. So yeah, just make it and we will increase the delay now 100, maybe 150, and we just simulate it. So you can see the vehicle goes very slowly. Okay, that's ended. So that's all about today's tutorial so yeah so next tutorial i will show how can you simulate the same thing using shimo code because when you use the large network you have like your passive uh, road network so you need to edit it in using shimo code otherwise it's very hard or tough for you to control everything because you know the the like you need to zoom and it's also time consuming too so I hope you will like this video and subscribe and I also request you to visit our Facebook group. There have lots of discussion going on about traffic engineering research and their project and so on. You can ask your question there and lots of things. So yeah, so thank you for watching today's video. Hope see you guys in the next time. Bye bye.